Hey guys, this is a requested video that was made around August this year, 2018, and I was asked to make a wall clock using real twigs from outside. I used a picture that was sent to me as my guide, and this is how it turned out. And I'd like to share with you guys how I made it. Now to start off with the project, I took a tray from the Dollar Tree and cut out the size of the clock that I would like to use, and I made a hole in the middle and then took the clock machine and glued it at the back. I took three tiny pieces of foam board and glued them together and made another one and glued on a hook inside. I'm going to be gluing them at the back together with the clock machine. Here's a tip. Now to make sure that the tray does not melt because of the heat of the glue, apply the glue first to the boards and let it be for some seconds before gluing it onto the tray. This is a tree branch that I got from outside and I got the one that's really strong and hard to cut except you want to use maybe a scissors. And I'm going to be cutting it down to make a certain pattern around the shape that I made for the clock. The tree branch that I chose is really hard to cut on its own. I mean, you can cut it, but then it's easier to use something like a plier or a hard scissors. And I made this choice so that I know that the clock will last long. Feel free to use regular sticks or whichever item you feel you're going to be comfortable with. I use real twigs because it's a requested video and I also love the idea of incorporating nature into a decor piece. I'm going to be gluing all the branches together and at this point here you can see that the board is going to be helpful. I put a dab of glue there and then I'm going to insert the branches inside. And I did that all round for the parts where you get to see the branches meeting with the board. You won't glue the branches just on the board, you're going to have to insert it inside the board to make it stronger. I turned it to the back and this is what it looks like. It's not still strong yet so I'm going to make all the branches touch either the tray itself or on the board just trying to make sure that it stays strong and i will secure it more with an e6000 glue i need all the sticks to be black and so i'm going to be using this black paint that i had at home This is the punch that I'm going to be using to create circular shapes on the tray. And I will leave the link for this punch in the description box below. And I use the trays to get the circles. These are skewers that I painted black and then I cut them into smaller pieces. And I'm going to be using them to form a design on the circular shapes that I cut out. And I'm applying the glue on to the sticks first before putting them on to the tray so that it doesn't melt and now i'm going to be applying gems all around onto the tips of all the sticks this is what it looks like and then i made red ones with smaller one inch mirrors i glue them onto the sticks for the design and this is what it looks like I took a bird stencil that I had to make smaller birds that I'll use for the design and I ended up adding the red design there and now I'm just going to be putting in the hour hand, the minute hand and then the second hand just to complete the installation of the clock. I decided later to remove the red and leave it the way it is and added more sticks at the bottom. Now I'm going to be making a very tiny vase and this is how I put up the pieces together and this is a tiny vase that I'm going to be making for the bottom and I glued it down there. This is just to give the illusion like the clock sprung out of the tiny vase with birds and trees. And now all I'm doing here is drawing out tiny leaf pattern to complete the look of the trees. 
Now I made large ones and small ones at the end of the day. This is a remote control fairy string light that I'm going to be using that I glued at the back. And then I took all the strings and I'm wrapping it around the boards that we have and then the clock machine together with the battery pack, of course. And then I just wrapped it in and I'm going to hold it all down using hot glue gun at four points. Add the four corners touching the board and not the tray. And then I covered up some parts of the wires just to make it look neat at the back. This is what it looks like when it's mounted to the wall. And when you have the lights on, it's so pretty. I really love the illusion that it gives, like you have a clock with trees and birds springing out from a tiny vase. This is an artistic way to show off your love for nature by having real twigs and branches to add to the decor in the home on a wall clock. I really hope you love this idea. Let me know what you think about this in the comment section below and remember to like and share. Thank you so much for watching. I have other videos linked in the description box below to check them out and don't forget to click on the subscribe button.